All right, students, we're going to set up our cardboard today, and you need to listen carefully. Please turn your bridge packet to now, uh, page 20. It'll say bridge building code, and you will see a picture of two pieces of cardboard with writing on it, just like, just like you see right here. All right, here we go. Listen carefully. The number one says build the bridge on a piece of cardboard 15 centimeters by 35 centimeters. It's already been pre-cut for you in the exact specifications. So we're gonna go straight to number two. It says, draw a river 15 centimeters wide in the middle of the cardboard. And that's figure one on the left. So the river is going to be in the middle of the cardboard. To put something in the middle, you have to have equal parts on the sides. So we are not going to measure the river as 15. We are going to measure the difference on each side. So if the cardboard is 35 centimeters and the river is 15, 35 minus 15 is 20. Yes, you're right. And so half of that is 10. So we're going to make a mark at 10 to mark the edge of the river. So 10 centimeters. So we're going to make a mark. Now we're going to make two marks. We're going to make one near the top and one near the bottom because you need two points to draw a straight line. Never do it with one point. You'll never get a straight line. You'll draw the edge of the river going across there. Now we're going to spin it around and do the same exact thing. We're going to take our ruler. We're going to set the zero mark to the edge of the cardboard. Make sure it's exactly on the zero, nowhere else, and put a mark exactly at 10. Then slide your ruler down, as I did, and make another mark at 10 centimeters. Then draw the line. You now have a 15 centimeter river, 15 centimeters, in, in the middle of the cardboard with 10 on either side. That's number two. You're done. Number three says draw one five centimeter square at each end of the cardboard, 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the river and 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the cardboard. This is what it'll look like when you're finished. The river in the middle, two squares, one on each end, and a square in the middle that I will later cut for you. So we're going to draw the first five by five centimeter square. We are not going to measure five by five by five by five. That's not what they're asking you to do. They're asking you to put it, center it in this square, this rectangle here. And so we have to measure 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the cardboard. So we're gonna put the ruler on zero and make a mark at 2.5 centimeters. We will make a, slide the ruler down a little bit more and make a mark at 2.5 centimeters. And we're gonna draw a line, and we're not gonna measure how long it is. We're just gonna draw it most of the way across. Any extra will erase when we're done. Now I'm gonna flip it around, and we're gonna draw another line 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the river, as it says in number three. So I'm gonna put a, one mark up high and one mark at 2.5 centimeters down low, and I'm gonna connect those two points. And I, again, I'm going to overdraw the line. I'm not worrying about whether it's five centimeters long, and you'll see why in a second. Now, this is a five by five square. If it's five by five, and this is 15 going across, that means you must have five here, five centimeters here, and five centimeters here for a total of 15. So to get this line and this line in the right spot, you have to measure in five centimeters from the side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my ruler, mark it on the zero mark on the edge of the cardboard, and I'm going to make a mark at five centimeters. I'm going to slide my ruler down a bit away from that mark and make another mark at five centimeters. And I'm going to connect those lines. Now this time I can connect between the two lines we previously drew because I don't need to overdraw that. If you do, you can always erase it. Now I'm going to spin it around again. I'm going to set my ruler at five centimeters. I'm going to set, set my ruler one more time at zero and make a mark at five centimeters. And I'm going to draw that line. We now have a five by five square in the middle of this side of the river. I'm erasing the extra to show you that we have a nice perfect five by five square. And notice at no time did I ever measure five centimeters for any of these lines. I measured the space around it, what's referred to for you artists as negative space. All right, we're gonna do it again. 
It says draw one five centimeter square at each end of the cardboard, 2.5 centimeters from the edge of the river. So I'm gonna put my zero mark on the edge of the river and I'm gonna make a mark at two and a half. I'm gonna put move my ruler down a bit, make another mark at two and a half, and I'm gonna connect those lines. I'm gonna overdraw it because we don't care how long it is right now. I'm gonna spin my cardboard around. I'm gonna put my ruler on the zero mark on the edge of the cardboard, making sure it's exactly on the edge of the cardboard, not close, exactly. I'm gonna make a mark at two and a half because that's how far away it needs to be from the edge of the cardboard. I'm gonna overdraw that line again. We don't care how long it is right now. We've got two sides of the square. Now we need to, once again, draw this square in the middle of this part here, and it's five centimeters, the square, so there's gotta be five on each side to add up to 15. So I'm gonna put my ruler on the edge of the cardboard, like so, I'm gonna make a mark at five, I'm gonna slide it down, I'm gonna make a mark at five, and I'm gonna connect the dots. Spin it around 180, set your ruler at zero on the edge of the cardboard, make another mark at five, another mark lower at five, and connect the dots. You now have a square drawn, and I'm gonna erase the extra lines that we overdrew. So now we have the two squares on each end of the cardboard. Now all we have left is the middle one. Number four on your bridge packet says draw and cut a four centimeter square exactly in the center of the cardboard in the river. So this is the river. We need to draw a four centimeter square, four by four by four by four, in the middle of the cardboard. It'll look like that. But we're not gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna draw the square right now though. This distance is 15. This distance is 15, so this is a, a square, all equal sides. If the square in the middle is four, and the river is 15, that leaves 15 minus four, that's 11. So the space on either side needs to be the same. Half of 11 is five and a half. So on each side of this square, you're gonna have exactly five and a half centimeters. It'll be the same on all four sides. So we're gonna do a similar process, but with a different number. We're gonna set our ruler, the zero line on the edge of the river. And we're going to make a mark at five and a half. That's the middle mark between five and six. We're gonna slide our ruler down and make another mark at five and a half and we're gonna connect that line. Those two dots that you just made, connect them. Overdraw it, draw it all, all, most of the way across. If you draw it all the way across, it's not a problem. We can always erase it. Turn it around, set your zero mark again on the edge of the other side of the river, make a mark at five and a half, make another mark at five and a half, a little bit further down, and connect the dots we have half the square drawn. Notice I drew the line almost all the way across. It doesn't matter. Now we're gonna put our ruler at the edge of the cardboard and make another mark at five and a half. We have to make two marks. This is the place where many students will only make one mark and connect the lines. And that will be a mistake. You will not get a straight line and you won't put it in the right spot. We have one more to go. We flip it around, put our ruler at five and a half or the, put the ruler at zero on the edge of the cardboard and make a mark at five and a half, make another mark at five and a half. And if I can do this without the pencil breaking one more time, we now have the square in the middle. We're gonna erase the extra lines that we didn't need. And now we have the square in the middle that if you did this correctly, I will be happy to cut immediately and you can start building your bridge. If not, you'll have to take it back to your desk and fix the lines that you did not measure correctly. You can repeat this video as many times as you need until you have it done. Have fun. Point five.